Hello everyone, and welcome to Final Fantasy VII, episode 12. Last time we saw all our friends and family die in Sector 7. What happened? What about this game, though? What happened last time? Um, I don't really remember. We're, we're going to try to find Marlene, Barrett's daughter. We believe she's at Eris' house. So we're heading back there. I was making a joke like our family died in real life. I know. Oh, this must be a unique battle if you're showcasing it. <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't 100% on these guys. I think I haven't fought them yet. Which obviously means they're not that spectacular if I can't even remember, but... I think I saw them in the junkyard when I was playing. Yeah, they're definitely seen them in the remake, but it's... Where did she learn magic from? Pardon? Where did Tifa learn magic from? Yeah. It's just materia in this game. You can just equip it and unequip it as you like. So any skilled person in this world can use magic. Yeah, but certain people have different, like, like you have to have, like, a spirit rating. So certain people are better at casting magic. Like, Cloud is way better than Tifa and Barrett at magic. Yeah. So... To put it on Tifa is kind of a waste, but it's still more useful than just having her punch things. I don't know if she one shot, well, two shot that creature. Yeah, she she did one shot it, but it's weak to ice, and I just happened to have it equipped from the last boss battle. Against Reno, as we all know. Here we're just talking to some people that are devastated by the collapse of the pillar. One sector over. Wonder why they are. Well, if you can't figure it out, then, yeah. Some concerning comprehension problems. Or I just have no empathy. Yeah. I consider that comprehension, like emotional comprehension. And this kid, last time we checked his drawer and he had a little money hidden away and we left it. Now we're coming back, and he's converted that into enough money to give us a great item and presumably have more money. So we could have had money or an item of equal or lesser value than that money we could have stolen? No, way greater value. Like, um, How does that mathematically make sense? <laughs> well, he's a good, good hustler, I guess. He turned that 5 gil into something worth like 1,500 gil. Mm -hmm. It's a bright future, then. Yeah, not even 1,500 gil. That was just the extra he had that he was willing to give away. Who knows how much he's earned. He didn't even care about giving it away. Yeah. Maybe he just had... He just needed that five remaining gil to pay for it all. Maybe. And the rest was just in his pocket the whole time. Yeah, maybe he the sole survivor. I was going to say, maybe he got that inheritance from his family members that were crushed in the uh, Sector 7. Yeah. Devastation. Finally some good news. <clears throat> yeah. Wu Tai. Oh, that's flashback. So here at the bottom left, you can see Jesse and Biggs just like hugging and twirling around each other. And I'm like, and this is 15 years ago. So I'm like, one, how old are they? And two, I'm like, are they like a couple here? That's definitely not how it is in the remake. Yeah, they uh, close friends. You do that. They could, I guess. Oh, so I feel like I could do that with Joey just to be silly, but uh, yeah, they probably wouldn't do that. I think this is pretty good. Who am I? <laughs> yeah, we we designed the animation. Let's do it a couple more yeah. times. train conductor comes out and does it to yeah. his boss or something. <laughs> so if you didn't hear, she was waiting for her husband to return from war in the land of Wu-Tai. I know, I said okay. that. I, well, you read the word Wu-Tai, but I don't know if you were like, actually... I read everything.
And what? Is she just dead? No. She'll, yeah, move right now. But whether she stays alive for much longer, I cannot say. Now she's dead. Yeah, the, the coloring gave it away. <laughs> and who's that guy up there? Just the train conductor guy, I guess. Not oh. conductor, but... <laughs> Just imagine, yeah, she's like bleeding everywhere. He's just like, ticket please. <laughs> I feel like, does that make more sense? A star in the sky? I always think this is a cool transition. That? Yeah, just how they get rid of <laughs> oh, okay. like, flashback. Yeah. I didn't see that. They always move the camera up. This is the guy flying the helicopter, if you remember. Mm-hmm. Just to give you reference, he's a Turk. That me there's immediate red flag. Returning us to a world of happiness or whatever. Yeah, just only like a cult. Yeah, that's what I always think too. <clears throat> I feel most children could say yes to that answer question though. Your voices? Yeah. Well, I think most children have a vivid imagination and have yeah. imaginary friends and stuff. And there the mother says, you know, she tried hard to hide it so I didn't really make fun of her, I guess, or whatever. But like in the remake, I feel like Eris is just always talking to herself. And didn't quite come over to this game. Yeah. You didn't unlock this dialogue here. Yeah. I think Barrett had no idea what little girl they were talking about until Cloud was like, Marlene. Wait! <laughs> My daughter's name is Marlene. Yeah.
there's that. Paris is apparently some ancient, you know, special species of humanoid thing. What's that animation supposed to be here? I think they're just hugging. Okay. I don't know if they're like <clears throat> bumping heads or something. That could be. I think it's just tough to do because Barrett's fist is like bigger than her. Dumbass. Yeah. And if you say the other one where it's like, oh, I hope so, she just says, I won't tell Tifa. And here I thought maybe she'd say something new, but it's the same dialogues, so. Yeah. I can do that. Oh, yeah, I guess we should. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Getting some lunch. Yeah. Oh, you can't do a rescue mission on an empty stomach. Yeah. Don't remember the last time. Cloud 8. Uh, probably when he uh, dressed up like a woman. They had a quick meal at the... I don't know what to call that. Diner? Brothel? <laughs> Could it have been a brothel? Well, that, yeah, Don Corneo's mansion is, but... The other place was just like a normal sit-down restaurant, that's what I was talking about. Just got some ticket to the pharmacy there. Which we exchanged for a digestive medicine to give to the girl throwing up. <clears throat> who gave a sexy cologne. Or perfume. <laughs> so they try to have like beautiful, a uh, beautiful background. Yeah. Just like a motionless waterfall. I thought it was kind of ridiculous how beautiful their house is, and they live like right in the slums. Yeah, I was gonna say that too, and I saw a second story to their house. Yeah. And like other places, don't really. Anyways, that's that. Next time we uh, try to find a way to get to Eris.